When we connect two switches together, we need to think about things like what happens if that link fails? And do we have enough bandwidth between these two switches? So to increase redundancy and to add extra bandwidth, we're going to use a technology called ether channels. We've recently been talking about spanning tree. What would spanning tree do in a case like the one you see here? It would effectively block one link to prevent the loop, right? But we still need to consider having two links here for redundancy. That is, if one link fails, the other would be available to take over. The second link is basically a backup in case the first link fails. This is good, but it could be better. Let's say these are both one gig links. What happens if we have high levels of traffic? If there's more than one gig of traffic, this one link wouldn't be able to handle it and some traffic would be dropped. Does the second link help out? Nope, it's blocked. It can't do anything. So we could upgrade the link, but that may be expensive. So let's look at an alternative. Ether channel is a technology that takes two or more physical links and bundles them into a single logical link. So back in that case where we had two links between a switch, we could configure them as an ether channel and they would pretend or act like they're a single link with up to two gig of bandwidth. And because it appears as a single link, spanning tree wouldn't block anything, so both physical links can be active at once. If one physical link fails, the ether channel still works as normal, with diminished bandwidth of course. This means that spanning tree doesn't need to recalculate or send TCNs or do anything like that. As long as at least one physical link is up, the logical link will stay up. You can usually have up to eight physical interfaces in an ether channel. Some switches allow you to go as high as 16. Before moving on, there's a couple of things I'd like to briefly mention. Firstly, ether channel is a Cisco term. They also call it a port channel or a channel group, as these are the commands that we use in configuration. Other vendors will use terms like LAG, which is Link Aggregation Group, or perhaps AE, which is short for Aggregated Ethernet. Despite the different names, these are all standards based. So that means that you can configure an Ether channel on a Cisco switch and connect it to a LAG on another vendor switch and it will all continue to work just fine. And of course, we always have some quiz questions through these videos. So here are a few to get you started. 